Okay, okay, I'm finally doing a loadout video on the Anvil Valkyrie because everybody keeps nagging me to do it. So here we are and we're going to use the Urkel Games website. If you don't know about this website, check it out. It's awesome. You can build your loadouts on your ships. Right, let's crack on with the Valkyrie loadout for rock mining. The idea here for the Valk is that we don't want to get into combat. Now I know that's ironic as it's a military ship technically, it's a drop ship. We don't want to get into combat with this ship because we will probably not win. So in terms of all of the weapons, we'll start in the top left up here. In terms of the weapons, you've got front weapons and you've got these turrets. Uh, I can never say that word properly, turrets, there we go. You've got all of these turrets here and to be honest with you, I would leave all of this as default. Your nose turret will be the uh, CF227s, they are perfectly fine, don't waste your money, and stick with these repeaters as well, because quite honestly, you're not going to engage, this is just to get away. You've got two of these ballistic uh, Gatlings on your doors, as of 3.172, I think these are hard locked in, you can't really do a lot with them, even though the website suggests otherwise. The shields, now this is a big deal here, the defaults are the full stop, which are pretty average to be honest, their full charge is 49 seconds and they only go up to 9000 HP and I would completely max your shields out you've got two I would say two main options here and I always go with the FR 76s purely because higher HP so if we put the FR 76s in now where do I get the FR 76s I hear you say well down the bottom it tells you here Cousins Crow in Orison Grim Hex Dumpers Depot and Platinum Bay at Crew L1 they're going to cost you just over 38k each you need two of them remember you get that little bit of extra HP bump and they are brilliant so moving on to the power plants then you start off with the Maelstrom which again is um, low power it's not that great military grade C I honestly think you immediately need to go to the Genoa oh wow you know what these are expensive the Genoa really gives you that extra power and uh, there's an argument to be had whether you actually need them or not I think you do they're 150,000 each I know I know put them on as soon as you can put them on put them on the reason why you can put the power full power to shields and it will just give you that extra bump the callers at the moment don't really function as intended I don't think but even so you can see the difference between the snowpack and the Arctic Arctic 5,000 5.2 K should I say for calling per second this is 8.8 K calling a second much much better HP is up as well and you've got to go with these snow packs 82,900 each Dumpers Depot in Area 18, Amiga Pro New Babbage or Platinum Bay Crew L1, 82,900, just shy of 83,000. Quantum Drives, probably the most important thing you can put on a ship right now. Absolutely 100% focus on this before you do anything else. The XL1, and the reason why I go for the XL1, purely speed. The most fuel guzzling, but the speed honestly makes a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. You can still get across Stanton system perfectly fine. The HP is excellent excellent as well xl1 your first thing that you upgrade on the ship it's 94,900 from orison cousins crow or port tressler in platinum bay do this before you do anything else and that is really it in terms of the power priority when i'm uh, out rock mining i really am not interested in any of this shooty shooty stuff so i tend to sort of pull it down to about sort of here somewhere so i'll do like if i can get it to 45 there we go can i do it 45 45 45 45 10 is what i tend to go for and i can't do it on this website i hope that's been really useful for you thank you very much for watching i'll see you on the next video until then goodbye